country america so the democracy the president elected by popular vote is now being condemned so what is the value of this democracy you elect somebody by your vote again condemn that means the electors the voters have also no experience neither the man who is voted he is also very good man otherwise why you should change your opinion once you have elected a person to act as your head executive so the democracy Uh, has proved a farce in this nominee uh, because people are not educated people are mostly shudras there must be four classes some men uh, uh, brahman khatri vaishya shudra first class second class third class fourth class 
But at the present moment, there is no first class man, neither second class man, or third class, fourth class, all over. So, on the goals of third class and fourth class man, how you can expect good God? That's not possible. <coughs> So there is no need of uh, this democratic meeting, but there is meeting of the first class Brahmanas for the benefit of the whole human society. They used to meet sometimes, and that meeting is still continuing in India. It is called Kumbha Mela. Kumbha Mela, uh, recently this meeting took place at Hardwa. All the saintly person used to come uh, in four places, one at uh, Prayag, Alava, one at Vrindavan, one at Hardwa, and another at uh, Rameshram, something like that. Four places. A similar meeting was held at Naimisharam. Naimisharam, now that place is still existing. Very nice place. So the question was <coughs> that after departure, of Krishna, who was guiding the fates of the human being. The last question was this. Bhuhi yogi shari krishni brahmani dharma brahmani shaṁ kāṣṭhāṁ adhuno pete dharma kaṁ saranangata. Dharma religious principle, uh, Krishna says in the Bhagavad-gītā, yada-yadāhi dharmasya glāni bhavati bhāra. Glāni means uh, polluted. Whenever there is pollution in the matter of discharging religious principles, uh, I come down. Tadātmānam sijāmi ahum. Then I come down to settle up things. So Krishna came for this purpose, to settle up or to purify dharmasya glāni, pollution in the matter of discharging religious principles. Therefore, as soon as there is pollution, means there is a class of men who have polluted. They are called duskrita, sinful. When there is an increase of the number of sinful persons, there must be pollution in the system of religious life. This is the way. If everyone is following religious principle, everyone does not commit any sinful activity. So that time there is no chance of pollution in religious system. At the present moment, they do not know what is pollution, and they do not know what is religious principle. <coughs> that is the defect of the modern civilization that uh, religion is described in the dictionary a kind of faith, not principle. Uh, but according to uh, Vedic conception, 
Religion is not a kind of faith. Religion is, it is your must duty. That is it. Or it is your natural occupation. You cannot change it. Faith you can change. I am now Mohammedan, I become Hindu, or I am Hindu, I become Christian. But I remain the same man. I may change my faith from this to that. So religion does not mean that. Religion means you cannot change it at any circumstance. That is religion. That is the meaning of dharma. If you change, that is your disease condition. Uh, that is not normal condition. Uh, so that, that is the meaning of religion. Uh, therefore, in the Bhagavad Gita it is saying, Yada Yada hi dharma sabglani bhavati. When human being changes his normal condition of life, that is pollution of So the normal condition of life is described uh, by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, when Sanatana Goswami inquired from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that why I am suffering? He inquired from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he was minister, very big post, a very large scholar in Sanskrit and Arabic, because at that time there was Pathan rule, so as government was Mohammedan, so responsible officers, ministers, they had to learn the Arabic language or Persian language. The Mughals are Persians? Turks. Eh? Turks. Turks. Ah, yes. so, so he was a big scholar uh, and born in Brahmin family. Everything was all right. But still he presented himself before Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that he is not a bona fide learned man because he did not know what is his identification. That is very important thing. One should know his identification. At the present moment the identification is going on by the skin. I am Indian, I am American. This is going on. But that is not our proper identification. The proper identification is Aham Brahmasmi. I am spirit soul. This is to be understood in human form of life. Otherwise, the dog is also papta. I am a big dog. Similarly, if a man becomes papta, simply by the bodily concept of life, I am a big Roman, I am being Indian, I am being... There is no distinction between the dog's conception of life and the big Roman's condition of life, because the center is the body. So, here, Krishna came to establish this fact that you are neither Roman nor Indian, nor Brahmin, nor Sudra. You are my eternal servant. Therefore, give up all these nonsense identification. Sarva dharma anparitach. Because due to your wrong identification, you have created so called ism. Hinduism, Mohammedanism, nationalism, this ism, that ism, this is all nonsense. This is the understanding of religion. 
वॉट अवेर वी हैव क्रिएटेड विद द बॉडिली कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ड्राइंग देर ऑल नॉन सेंस द रियल रिलीजन इज दैट आर इटर्नल सर्वेंट ऑफ कृष्ण दैट इज रियल चैतन्य महाप्रु वैन यू आर क्वेश्चन बाय सुनातन गोस्वामी माई डियर सर आई एव कम टू यू टू सर एंड डेट टू यू बिकॉज यू आर माई स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर यू हैव आस मी टू गिव अप माई फैमिली लाइफ सो बाय योर वॉट आई हैव गिवन अप नाउ आई हैव कम टू यू सो दिस इज माई फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वन शुड बी वेरी इंक्विजिट आफ्टर इनिशिएशन Uh, Adu good boss, Ram. This is our system. So, just to become enlightened in the spiritual affairs of life, as Arjuna also said, "Shri Shasti ham sadiman prapanna." Similarly, Sanatan Goswami also he says, "Sir, uh, you ask me, I am now surrendered to you. So, this is my question." What is that question? That must be question. If one is actually seeking after spiritual realization, there must be intelligent question. The first intelligent question was put forward by Shunatan Goswami: the Kiyami Kano Mori Japi Tapotro. Sir, please let me know what is my identification. Why I am put into this miserable condition of material life? People do not know it. Just like cats and dogs, and the cat or the dog does not know that his life is very abominable. No, this is Maya. Even the hog, he is also think I am very happy. This is called Maya. मोह जीवस्व मोह अहम मोमेति सो वेन ह्यूमन लाइफ इज देयर एट दिस वन मस्ट बी एवेक टू दिस कॉन्सियसनेस दट एक्चुअली आई एम नॉट हैपी दैट इज बिगिनिंग ऑफ ह्यूमन लाइफ नॉट टू रिमेन इन डार्कनेस लाइक कैट्स एंड डॉग He is unhappy in every respect, in every step, and still he is thinking unhappy. Cats, dogs, hogs, uh, their whole day working, day and night, and uh, or some food, and then sense gratification. This is the modern life. And that is happiness. To become uh, very busy, cold and night, for getting some food for eating and something for sense gratification. Uh, this is happiness. But actually, it is not. So therefore, Sanatan Goswami was intelligent. He inquired that Kiyami Kano Mori Japi Tapotro. The first question. To this spiritual master, there. What is my identification? Why I am suffering these threefold miseries? They do not know what is threefold miseries are there, but they do not know. So dull-headed people. Adhati, adhivoti, adhidaivi, three kinds of miseries. There must be either three or two, or at least one must be. No, three are always there. Adhatik means pertaining to the body or mind. Uh, today I am very weak. Today I have got jaundice. Today I have got this uh, some stomach trouble, dysentery. These are called adhatik. Uh, my mind is not very nice. And adi doivi, uh, just like. Severe colds, severe heat, earthquake, disaster, famine, pestilence. There are so many things. Adi dey, adi, 
as the bhūti, misery is offered by another living entity. In this way, we are always implicated. Therefore, Sanatana Goswami inquired that I do not want this. I do not want this. But why is that imposed upon me? This is very intelligent question. If there is any solution, that is intelligence. Not temporary mitigation of. Temporary, we are just like. It is uh, summer or winter. Anyway, summer is in the summer we are suffering scorching heat. At that time we are hankering after some cool place. And uh, during winter we are suffering from uh, chilly, cold. Rain. So this thing will go on. So long you are in the material world, you cannot avoid it. Therefore, Sanatana Goswami inquired, you know, why these things uh, give me uh, trouble, although I do not want them? This is very interesting. If there is any solution. So the modern civilization, uh, modern or past, uh, foolish people, they do not want the solution. They think that Things are going on like this, we cannot avoid it. Let us suffer. That is not intelligence. If you are suffering, then you must find out the remedy. And actually we are doing that. But because we do not know what is the actual remedy, we are missing the point. But there is solution. And for this solution, one must go to the spiritual world. That is this kind. Samsara dava nalani loka dranaya. This materialistic life is always like the blazing fire in the forest. So dranaya. So how to get out of it? Dranaya is called. Dran means to be relieved from the suffering. Karuna Gharaganatam. So, how these sufferings can be mitigated? So, people have become so dull headed, they cannot understand what is the real suffering, and neither they have any inquiries how to mitigate the sufferings. This is what is. Therefore, they are called Sudra. Sudra has their life. A brāhmaṇa is intelligent. A brāhmaṇa. Therefore we are trying to make people brāhmaṇa so that he may become intelligent. Not śūdras. Others are trying to make them śūdras. Śūdras means to remain in ignorance. And brāhmaṇa means to remain in knowledge. That is the difference between brāhmaṇa and śūdra. Two other classes, Mahamidya, Kshatriya, and Vaishya. The Brahmanas are supposed to be the first class men in the society, the Kshatriyas, the second class, the Vaishyas, the third class, and the remaining all fourth class and fifth class. So there was no meeting of the fourth class, fifth class men. What they will do? Simply pass some resolution, that's all. What they will do? Just like this United Nation. What can they do? For the last twenty years they are trying to uh, make solution of the problems of the world. They have so many departments. The one department is WHO, World Health Organization. Uh, so, because they are all sudras, what they can make? Make solution. The present moment, the, the whole world is full of sudras and they have got money, so they are simply spending for sense gratification. 
Therefore, according to Vedic civilization, Shudras uh, should not be given much money. Uh, uh, simply what they actually require, that's all. Because they do not know how to utilize money. Uh, at the present moment, because the whole population are Shudras, as soon as they get money, they spend it for wine, women, and squander it all. So, uh, big rich man in America, they spend fifty thousand dollars in a week in Florida for seeing naked dogs. Is it not? Is it not a fact? Because they are sudras, they do not know how to spend money. And formerly, before this, people were little intelligent, or at least they had some religious faith. So they constructed temples, churches, mosques. Nowadays, this thing is stopped. As soon as one gets money, they have to spend it after sending their visitation. So, formerly, there, there was no meetings of the sudras. The meeting was held uh, uh, about the, uh, amongst the Brahmins, saintly persons, to consider how people will remain happy, uh, how their spiritualistic life will advance. Therefore, the Brahmins were the heads, and other Kshatriyas and Vaishyas and Sudras, they used to take uh, instruction from the Brahmins for their livelihood. Uh, that was a very good system. Uh, that is natural. Uh, just like in this body there are the same Brahmin, Khatriya, Vaishya, Sudra. The Brahmin is the head, the brain, and the Khatriya, the arm, and Vaishya, the belly, and Sudra is the leg. So when the body is healthy, condition, the brain is very uh, nice, then the brain gives direction to the leg, to the hand, to the belly. Uh, so, uh, brain, if the one has got good brain, he does not eat much. Now why should I eat more? When I am not hungry, why should I load the belly? It requires brain. No, here is a very nice palatable thing, let me load it. Because he has no brain. And after loading, then dysentery, you see. So in every action, the brain is required. So therefore the Brahmins, they were <coughs> first class brain of the society and they used to give direction uh, to the people in general, beginning from the Khatriya, Vaishyas and Sudha, they used to give uh, instruction to the Khatriyas, next intelligent class of men, for administration, and the Khatriyas used to rule over the government uh, according to the Brahmin's instruction, and the Vaishyas also, they used to uh, produce food grains, and give protection to the cows. In this way, uh, they were discharging their duty, and the Sudras, they were carrying out the orders of these three higher classes. Uh, so, you'll find in this instruction, in this chapter, these sages decided uh, at the end of the meeting that Atapum Vidhijasreshta. The resolution was passed like this because there were all Brahmins. Therefore, the president, uh, Sutta Goswami, he said all the Brahmins, Dija Sreshtu, he addressed. Dija means <coughs> twice born, one birth by the father and mother, and next birth by the spiritual father and the Vedic knowledge. This is second part, initiation. The spiritual 
father, our spiritual master, he gives the second birth through the mother Vedas. Therefore they are called Dijo, twice born. Twice born, unless one <coughs> has accepted bona fide spiritual master, he is once born, Sudra. Sudra has no such thing as twice born. Only the Brahmana, Kshatriyas and Vaishya. Uh, because Sudras were less intelligent, <coughs> they were not intelligent. Uh, they are not intelligent. Only the Brahman, Kshatriyas and Vaishya. Dijo. So among the three kinds of Dijos, twice born, the Brahmanas were the uh, first class Dijo. Therefore, at the end of the meeting, the because they are all Brahmins, there was no chatri. Only Brahmins were discussing. Naimisha. Atapung be Dijasreshva. Dijasreshva, best of the Brahmins. They are not ordinary Brahmins. <coughs> With full basic knowledge, they gather. Varnasama Vibhagasa. Uh, the result of Bannasa, the Bannasa must be there in the human, uh, human society. So, Bannasama Vibhagasa. Uh, uh, hmm. Vibhaga means division. Uh, Atapung Vidija Sestra Bannasama Vibhagasa Sanusthita Sa Dharma Sya. Everyone has got his dharma, that is dharma. The Brahman. Dharma means his occupation and duty. Dharma means his occupation and duty. That is Dharma. The Brahmana is, he has got his duties to practice how to become truthful, sattva, sama, how to control the senses, dhamma, how to control the mind, sattva, sama, dhamma, titikha, how to learn toleration, perseverance, sattva, sama, dhamma, titikha, arjava, how to become simple, not crooked, jnanam, full knowledge and everything, vijnanam, practical application, Sattva Samadhamma Tidikha Jyava Jnanam Vijnanam Astikam Full faith in the Vedic literature that is called Astikam. That is called atheism. To believe in the Shastra uh, without any division. That is called theism. Atheism means not to believe in the Shastra or to not to accept them as it is to command according to one's own will, that is called atheism. Theism means to have faith, full faith in the Vedic knowledge. That is called theism. That I have given you several times the example, just like the cow dung is the stool of an animal, but the Vedic literature confirms that cow dung is pure. Then you cannot uh, argue that it is a stool of an animal. In one place you have condemned that if you touch the stool of an animal, you have to take bath thrice. Uh, and now you say a uh, cow dung, which is also stool of an animal, it is pure. Where is your argument? You have to accept. That is called theism. Because the Veda says, uh, without any argument, you accept it. That is called theism. Uh, you cannot change, you cannot comment. That is called theism. Asthikam, Brahmakarma Sabhamaja. But unless you have got uh, such faith in the Vedic knowledge, you cannot make any progress. That is not possible. If you, with your poor fund of knowledge, you want to interpret from the very beginning, there is no question of progress. 
Therefore, we find in the Bhagavad Gita when Arjuna heard from, from Krishna the principles of Bhagavad Gita, he said, Sarvametam Nitanamane Jadvadasimi Pada. My dear Krishna, whatever you have spoken in this instruction, I accept them as perfectly true. First of all, he said, Sishasti Yam Sadhima Prapannam. Of course, Sadharma Pritcha there must be, but whatever the spiritual master said, he accepted in total. This is the principle. You can, that is called asthika, theism. First of all, before accepting the spiritual master, you must find out whether Krishna or Krishna's representative is there. Arjun surrendered to Krishna, Sri Śrāstaya. I am your Prasad. Similarly, everyone should surrender to Krishna or Krishna's representative. That is spiritual. If one does not know what is Krishna, neither he speaks, just vibrate the Krishna's word, he is not spiritual master. He cannot be spiritual master. Spiritual master does not manufacture his own ideas. That is not spiritual master. Spiritual master is he who speaks exactly the words which is spoken by Krishna. That is the secret. You cannot change. So, uh, the, in the Naimi Sarana, the resolution was made like this. Sanustita sa dharma sa. So, everyone has got his dharma, particular, particular duty. Brahman, Shakti, Vaisya. Uh, so, one must be intelligent enough whether by his by the discharge of his particular duty, he has satisfied Krishna. Whether he has satisfied Krishna. Just like the different parts of the body, the duty is how to keep this body fit. That means to keep the body satisfied. Fit means when everything, all the metabolism, organization of the body is going nicely, then it is fit. And as soon as there is some discrepancies in the uh, regular process, there are so many processes going on within the body. Kapopitta uh, vai. There is very good mechanical arrangement. Uh, so the brain means to keep this mechanical arrangement very greasy and going on nicely. That is brain. That is brain. When I shall eat, when I shall not eat, when I shall sleep, when I shall... These things are necessity. But brain requires how to adjust them. Eating, sleeping, mating, and, and sense gratification, and, uh, protection, that is required. But it requires brain how to uh, transact all these business. Therefore, the brain is required and everyone has got his duty uh, and the uh, resultant action, how the things are going on nicely, successfully. What is the test? The test is samsiddhi harito. But the business is how to satisfy Krishna. Samsiddhi harito harito It is very natural. That was in a big office. So many class are uh, better. The business is that everyone should be ready to satisfy the office routine work uh, or satisfy the managing director. But how one can see the managing director is satisfied or not? Well, immediately in the office, in the, in the department, there is a superintendent. So if the superintendent is satisfied, you must know the managing director is satisfied. Similarly, 
you are under the direction of your spiritual master. If you see that the spiritual master is satisfied, then you should know that Krishna is satisfied. That is confirmed by Vishnu Chakravarti. Jasya prasadat bhagavat prasad. And jasya prasadat nagati kutopi. If, if the spiritual master is not satisfied, then you have gone to hell. Jasya prasadat nagati kutopi. Because who is recommend to Krishna? Uh, the promotion and, and so many things. So therefore, our business is to see. It doesn't matter whether you are acting as a sudra or brahman or bhakti, it doesn't matter. If by your action, sakarma vhitam abhacca, if by your action Krishna is satisfied, then your life is successful. It doesn't matter in what position you are. It doesn't matter. Uh, if Krishna is satisfied, this is the principle of life. That is real dharma. Krishna says, Sarva Dharman Purmame Kangsaram. So, whether we have surrendered to Krishna and satisfied, this is our business to see. In this way, in this chapter is very important to be discussed. So, uh, dharma is actually under the protection of the Supreme Personality of God. You cannot manufacture dharma uh, because we do not know what is dharma. Dharma, dharma to sakshat bhagavat pranita. Dharma means to abide by the orders of the Supreme Personality of God. It doesn't matter whether you are Hindu, Muslim, or Christian. Uh, that, that is explained in the sixth verse. Savai pun saam paro, jato bhakti rato The verse is a paradam. Paradam is the best, best, uh, supreme dharma. Jato bhakti rato It doesn't matter whether you are Hindu or Muslim. Whether you are interested to satisfy God, that is first class. Other is third class, fourth class, or whatever. Whether your interest is to satisfy God, then it is first class. It doesn't matter. By the name it doesn't go ahead. Therefore you find actually those who are advanced in religious principle, they're all devotees. Not Jesus Christ. Devote. Uh, uh, similarly, uh, Mahamad also, they are devote. They never declare that I am God. Did Mahamad say like that? No, servant. Of. Similarly, Jesus Christ said, Son of God. So, it is very good. It doesn't matter. If we remain son of God, a servant of God, faithfully, then it is first class religious system. But it is very difficult to say. But Bhagavad Dharma, then it is called Bhagavad, simply relationship with Krishna. There in the Srimad Bhagavata you will find no other topics except to establish the original relationship with Krishna. Therefore it is first class. Sabai Pumsan Parodat, Jato Bhakti Radha. Oh it without any the material fee. What can be done? Somewhere or other. Although it is in the Bible it is said they go to church for asking bread. But that is not Parodhana, because there is hetu, some cause. But this cause, similarly in the Mahabharata religion also, just to be promoted to the heavenly kingdom. No, no, that is not first class. First class means ahitupi, without any cause. Not that I shall go to church, I shall go to mosque, I shall go to temple for asking something from God. That is not 
first class. That is good in this sense that these rascals have at least come to pray to God. So much it is. Uh, but such kind of prayer does not make the first class area. Uh, the prayer as offered by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, na dhanam na janam na sandhanim kavitaṁ ba jagadīsa kāvai. My dear love, I do not want any uh, amount of money, na dhanam, or any number of disciples or followers, na dhanam na janam, na sandhanam, na neither uh, any beautiful wife. So, so many so-called incarnation of God, they come from money, but beautiful wife and, and many followers. So that is not wanted. That is not religion. Religion means without wanting all these things. Na dhanam na janam na sandhani kapitaṁ bhajyadīśakā. Uh, not for any material, ahitukī, apratiyata. So I am poor man, I cannot love God, I cannot enhance my devotional service. No. Devotional service is so nice, apratiyata. It cannot be checked by any material condition. That is dharma. Sabai pumsaṁ paro. Jato bhakti radhukha. This is a test. How much I am religious, how much I am devotee. This is the test. So we should be always alert to test our advancement, how we are making advancement. Because unless we become first-class devotee, there is no question of, of being relieved from this material condition of life. That is not possible. That is not Ahitaki Apriti Ka Jaya Atma Sam Prasid. Thank you. Thank you.